last one I want to get your take on. It's been a lot of talk about it recently. Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis. How, how does that play out? Is is are, are these guys kind of ready for each other? I really don't really feel like this would be a uh, a real fight if it wasn't for for Ryan's popularity. Um, I don't think he can beat Tank. I, I don't. I, I think that um. You know, he may he may win a couple rounds, maybe like similar to the Roley fight. You know, um, he may be up on the scorecard. You know, but I I think Tank will catch up with him and hurt him and finish the fight. I saw your son earlier say, uh, in doing press for this fight, say something. He's seen Tank lock out like light heavyweights uh, in sparring. Have you been around Tank in sparring? Have you seen stuff like that? Yeah, I definitely see Tank, and I got way bigger guys. Uh, you know, Tank just the just the bigger fighter. He's the better fighter. He's a stronger fighter. You know, and and, and since he's been world champion, his his level been raised. You know, he's. I mean, um, I like Ryan Garcia. I like the way he fights. I just think that um, the public is is putting too much pressure on him. these guys. You know, want to be world title straight out the, the, the winning the national championship. They want to get in there and fight for a world title because the public is demanding demanding them fight tougher fights. You know, I, I don't think I just don't think um, Ryan is ready. I think Ryan may need another year or so. You know, and then he can go in there and get it. And he's making plenty of money. He don't have to rush in and lose his O because he he's succumbing to public pressure. Get in there and get in there when you're ready. Man, back when I was coming up, people had 30, 35 fights before they fought for the title. These guys wanted to fight for the title when they got 10, 12 fights, you know? I mean, it's not it's not that good to just fall into peer pressure. Do your thing, uh, Ryan. Milk this thing. This is a hard sport. I would milk it for every ounce I can get. And then I would fight for a title, but I wouldn't, just, he's still young. You know, he's still young. What is he, 23, 24? Man, he got time. He has time. I wouldn't rush it. I would, I would tell Oscar or, 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 or Floyd or whoever trying to put him in. Look, I'm the cash cow. I don't need Tank at this point. I don't need to fight anybody at this point. I'm going to keep developing my crap. I, I only had two fights with my trainer. Let me get a few more fights with my train. Let him get four or five fights with with uh, Goosen, and I think he might be a force to be reckoned with. There it is, advice from the the champ. Uh, last one, man. Word on the street: you're you're going to uh, bench press 500 pounds here P pretty soon. What, what's going on with that? Yeah, it's coming. I'm, I'm. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. You're and it, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put my championship belt on when I do it, and let you know like I will be known as the strongest heavyweight champion alive. You know, it ain't nothing that the former future or, well, I don't know about future, but former or present heavyweight champions can be able to deal with him just too strong. Since you got the hands, the, the hands that are in the Guinness Book of Records, right? You see them. Appreciate you, Chance. Tell the fans where they can follow you, man, and see, uh, see the progress. I'm good. They, they just got to find me. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere. I'm on Instagram. They just got to find me. I'll see you, Rockman. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much, Sam.